everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to talk about summoning. Should you summon for this weekend? Are there reasons to hold off? What about this fancy new ancient summoning? The finest blood for the most untainted soul. I'm doing a big diamond giveaway, 300 diamonds to 30 winners, thanks to Moonton via that my bucket um, <laughs> kind of fun visit to Moonton video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, obviously, go watch my video for my giveaway plus his video. He has a bunch of other giveaways going on. I don't know the dates for those, but yeah, mine is today. The winners are being picked, so 12 p.m. UTC if you're watching this after. I've already picked the winners, so my plan is going to be to reply to every winner via the their comment and say that they won. And I will also post a list of the winners in my community Discord under my giveaways section. So if you're if you want to know for sure if you won or not, uh, that's probably the best. That'll be the best way to 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 know. Um, once that happens, I will post here in giveaways, and you will see that um. Oh, I, do. I never posted here, so I'm going to do that quickly. Final call for the giveaways for Watcher. Um, but yeah, that's where the list will be. So heads up, that's where the list will be. And it won't be me doing it. I don't have control. I'll be, I'll be giving your ID to my contact for them to manually add those gems to your, or diamonds to your account. I don't know how fast it will be, so just have some patience. But yeah, yay free stuff. All right, but it's time to talk about when to summon. Should you summon? Is there a reason to hold? Should you pull or not? And we have a couple of events this weekend. So Friday starts the two times events, as we usually have, at least alternating every other week or so, or sometimes with the 10 times at the same time. And yeah, two times is double the chances to get a legendary. For most people, this is a pretty popular time to pull. It's just double the odds to get everybody. And it's like everyone in the pool, not just, oh, I don't know why. It says that specific pool increases, but it's got a weird wording there. But yeah, they just mean it. every character that's in the normal summoning pool has a double chance to be pulled, aka not the ones that you can only pull from ancient summons, of course, as that is a separate banner. But two times is a great time, especially for new accounts to pull increased dots to get legendaries. But personally, I tend to like to wait for 10 times events because... The more and more heroes get added to the game, the less and less the 10 times means something. So if a really good hero is on a 10 times banner, better get it while you can, because it's only going to get harder and harder to pull those most wanted heroes. Uh, and then if there's good epics, even better, right? And to be fair, when it comes to a two times event, especially <laughs> we know how these pities go, doesn't mean you're getting anything. Um, you could still hit 200 plus pity on it two times and have to get one legendary that's random it might not be exciting or you could be like me and pull 18 divine summons in a row during a two times and get nothing but yeah i normally like to pull my divine summons during a two times because you know 12 percent chance versus six percent chance is actually pretty significant boost um but that's kind of up to you guys if you're hunting specific heroes you could wait if you're just trying to fill out with some of their most wanted missing ones. Or, like, Divine is the best time to have the same odds of getting a Legendary Lord as an Ancient Summoning event, but from the different crystal. You can look at it that way. It's a good time to pull if there's still some of those you're really trying to get. Um, I am going to do a summoning party, as always, on Friday, so come join me live. We will be doing viewer summons and should be fun. Should be fun as always. So let me know if you guys want me to do your summons for the two times event on Friday. I'm not sure if I'm pulling yet or if I'm going to save for future events. I just don't know. There is no fusion going on right now. But as we know, the fusions in this game are not that crazy. So from all of you with your raid brain on still, don't overly stress about, should I hold my summons until the next fusion? I wouldn't worry about that. They act, They make them pretty attainable with doing little to no summons at all. So just pull if you want to pull. Don't worry about the fact that there's no fusion happening, is my advice there. But Saturday, we do have a special event. 
we have a twin fiend and admiral claw on a banner for the ancient summoning this is one we knew it was coming because they've been advertising admiral claw for a couple of days they just didn't put it on the calendar uh luckily they finally did so we finally have the actual official news there is a 10 times event for twin fiend and admiral claw now should you summon if you don't have a twin fiend awaken one the answer is yes um unless I guess unless you have a soul cadence and then you could be if you're happy with your soul cadence i mean soul cadence is pretty cool let's be honest and he also has the same kind of like focus fire type stuff he's really cool and he does amazing damage himself i'm not too versed on soul cadence versus twin fiend myself but i have seen the insane damage that soul cadence can do so that is a debate for those who have watched or not watched videos on Sulka Dens yet. I have not tested him, honestly. I'm not going to tell you Sulka Dens is better than Twin Fiend for every reason, because I honestly am not sure. I haven't tested or gotten enough confirmation myself. I just know that he can pump out crazy damage himself, which is pretty impressive. But Twin Fiend is a top tier hero for Guild Boss, obviously, and everyone wants the Awakened One because it adds in the vulnerability from magic and physical damage so twin fiend awaken one is one of the best uses for those legendary soul crystals if you actually get one for soul stones sorry uh for awakening one somebody that's important uh, i mean i'm he has some pretty solid boosts as well like i wouldn't mind getting other awakenings on twin fiend to be fair if i'm still going to be using him in my infernal comp uh, which i'm sure i will be for a while but yeah, I mean, even if you have one Twin Fiend, most people are searching for that second one. So it's still a great time to pull. Now, what about Admiral Claw? This is one that I don't see much info on. I don't know that Forerunner server people have actually played with him either. I don't know if he's new for both of us because I tried searching for Admiral Claw in like the main Discord just to see what people's feedback was. And it doesn't seem people are too excited about him. But he does sound good on paper, but a lot of people sound good on paper, but it doesn't mean they're going to be top tier. I do like that he has some AoE with his ultimate here and has this inter a very interesting um, AoE physical attack. So I think he'd be pretty solid for our new Immortal Codex stuff that's out with the Conqueror boss. That sounds great. Um, his awakenings sound really strong. Extra penetration, which is really good. And then vulnerability as well added with his Awaken 3. And his Awaken um, 5 is really interesting. Attack interval doesn't increase. It's a little bit, but also increases every time launched, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It it's, seems confusing. And I don't really understand the doesn't. But this, again, this is a hero that I, I have not tested. I've not seen other people test yet. Uh, I've not heard much about yet, honestly. So I'm not going to go overly into his kit, though. I feel like I kind of want to see him played, or I want to try to play him myself if I get a chance on the test server, but I haven't had a chance yet. He does have a really cool range. If you look at his range here in the picture, it's kind of like Apsin, right? Like he has that, or like Zilla 2, but less range in the front, unless he does with higher awakenings now. Um, but yeah, interesting character really cool visuals with that effect right but i don't know that he's going to be top tier it seems like what discussion i can find people seem to be a bit like meh he seems all right if you could get him awakened he seems amazing but that's about all i could honestly find personally trying to do my own research of other people's opinions on him because i like to not just have my opinion with some of this sometimes i like to go in with a blind test other times i want to um, if I haven't had a chance to go in with the blind test, I want to see what other people are saying. And we don't seem to know much about this guy yet, so hopefully we'll, some of us content creators will actually get a chance to do some test server content. Um, sorry, I don't think I will be able to this week. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. But yeah, seems cool. Interesting. We'll see. But yeah, Saturday, Ancient Summons. They've been doing consistent Ancient Summon events. It's not like we need to hold them, so... I feel like the answer is, again, yes, summon on Saturday if you don't have Awaken 1 Twin Fiend. Uh, he's, Awaken 1 Twin Fiend is better than Pyros, but 1 Twin Fiend, Pyros is still mostly better. 
for your guild boss damage overall for sake of the vulnerability to help enable your whole team to do more damage. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys interested in this event? Are you guys going to do your ancient summons? I feel like it's pretty good. I am not going to be live summoning for the ancients um, on Saturday or Sunday. But I will be live again on Friday for our normal Friday summoning party. It looks like we will have a spiritual altar event to go along with that. I don't know about Oracle Trial. I really wish they'd put those on the calendar as well. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping I get enough to be worth summoning. Okay, I have 13. See, this is the hard part for me. As someone who does have an Awakened One Twin Fiend, I don't think it's smart for me to summon. I feel like I should try to summon when I can get something more unique that is not already on my account. So I don't think I'm going to summon personally for the Ancient Summoning event unless there's someone new that's like top, top, top tier. Or if it's someone else I've been really wanting again, like Elder and Ardea, those are really fun new heroes they've added. Or, um, yeah, a legendary lord that I don't already have, ideally, especially one that I already have awakened one for. So that's kind of my thoughts there, guys. Let me know what you think. I kind of think two times events are a mixed bag for me and uh, everyone. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But it is technically the best chances for people to pull legendaries. So it's it's never a bad decision to pull during a two times. Because at least you have the best chances to get some of the more rare heroes. Including the lords. But Alright guys, I will catch you in the next video. And I will be posting those giveaway winners. So stay tuned.